Hello everyone, I'm back. So today I'm going to show you something I received yesterday. Um, as some people know, I do remapping. Um, I decided to buy cheap BDM frame from eBay, 23 quid in pounds. So what I got was, the, I don't have a box, I do have a box here actually. I got this box. Um, so it had those uh, small BDM frames in it, some some screws, nothing, nothing interesting really. So um, I, well, basically on eBay it told me to come come with a manual and everything, which it didn't. So I decided to build it the way they should. Um, however, the picture is different actually than it is. So it came up with uh, this basically so it's not like connected and it's really crap as you can see um this piece already broke um you can see here those should go on top here it didn't same on the other side and if you put those on top here it means it will fall down you don't want that either um it's basically just a piece of shit so, um, however, I did found a way to um, get it working. Well, kind of. Um, so, I have for example my Bosch BDM frame over here, right? So, I will show you the difference between the original ones and the fake ones. So this, this is an original uh, BDM frame 16 mil white, and this is what you get. As you can see, it doesn't work, right? Those are 40 mil, the fake plastic ones. Those are 60 mil, and they go with the original BDM frame, um, which I'm going to purchase, but just not now yet. Um, however, there's only one way to get it, this stuff working, um, and it's not how to build it um, in the uh, original way. So what I decided to do was um, the only way to actually get it working is make sure that this um, see-through frame it, you can. Have open and you're going to put your frame right within here I will show you Oops. goes here and then you go to close it um, normally I would say well you have some screws you put them in here um, however since um, that doesn't work the only way to actually do it is to well in this version make sure that everything is correct like this and then screw from under so if you do this um it's still not the best way don't get me wrong uh, but at least it stays in position so you can still maneuver around a bit um, so if you take the other one as well and do it the same way, just keep in mind that the um, that you don't have a lot of space if you're working on an ECU. So um, make sure that you, the screws don't stick out because otherwise you might damage your ECU. So you don't want that either, right? So if I do like this, it can still well. I move about a bit, um, but if you want to loo take loose again, make loose again, you just um, unscrew one of those, um, and it will work. So now it's stuck, as you can see. So the next thing is to um, connect your, um, your, your 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 ECU, or one over here. Connect it um, to your BDM frame. Um, over there, you have pins. So this is a Bosch uh, EDC 16C39 ECU uh, with the Motorola chip on it uh, from a Voxel Vector or Astra or whatever, a 1.9 CCDI. So just keep in mind, you see the black chip over there? Uh, those last four pins are not being used. So pin one is on the other side. Um, on the BDM frame, um, because I already mounted it of course now, um, if you look right, you see space between uh, two pins and then the other 
three rows of pins. So the ones um, before the um, on that side, that's pin one and two. So if you put that on your desk um, and you just put EC one bar, you have to um, lift the frame up a little bit first. Um, before you can actually, you know, you put the ECU under and it really sucks because if you compare to the original BDM frame um, you, it always sits in one position and uh, it just works. You cannot, the thing is, in CAS, for example, KTEC, they tell you to turn around the ECU like this, right? However, um, if you do that and you put it in this fake frame, the pins won't even reach where they should go. So, uh, there's no way you can get this working, so you have to turn it this way. Um, and then, you have to be very, very precise how to uh, pin the correct frames. So, let me show you. So, um, this is the BDM frame close-up. So, as you can see um, over there, where the pins are. So you have to align your ECU up straight and then the pull the black frame together with the clear one down. Since this frame is so fragile you have to be very 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 careful. So I Put it down a little bit. Um, it might be quite hard to see. Let me see if I can focus a little bit better. Um, but basically, I just put it above it, and all the pins are not lining up correctly. So, to be sure, you want to have it exactly here. This seems to be correct, so just pushing it down a little bit more and they seem to be all aligned. So if they are all aligned and is all correct, I'm going to connect my um, Keta to this um, thing. Um, to do that, I'm putting a cable and just double check if the pins didn't move. They all look quite okay now. Um, let me see if I can show you and give you a better view. So here you can see all the pins lined up. Well, at least that's the thing with um, if you don't have the real original original BDM um, probes is that you um, there's no LED at least not on the ones I have you can get them with LED which will be so much easier but uh, without LED it's a bitch to see so um, I have an external uh, power supply and it needs to be at 15.9 um, volts so I'm going to set that now, 15.9, um, and theoretically it means that I should be able to um, read the ECU. Um, so let me show you from the computer side. So what I did was I changed the ECU even more. Um, change the pin so you can see it even better. Uh, you can see them there, pin 1 and pin 1. And let's see what it does if I try to read. So, press the read button. It'll try to identify the ECU and it doesn't work. So. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to position the phone over here, focus on the pins, I'm going to hold down the frame with my hand, click the read button, and 
No, I still think it's not correct. So let me lower the voltage again. To 59, oops, 58, 69, 59. So So we have all the pins there. But for some reason, they say it's still not correct. So, with all the pins, let's recheck it. So, pin one is fine. It seems pin those over here seem not to be absolutely perfect so so lift the frame a bit and pull it down slightly and click read Well, now I actually got a different message. It says, hardware configuration not supported. Please log again to the software provider, which is weird, right? So it means at least it, it was trying to connect. So let's go back to oh, uh, Motorola over there. Uh, there, okay, that one we need, click OK, click Read. I'm not holding it down at the moment though. To try to identify the ECU. But like I say, um, if you don't hold it down, you get this message. So I'm going to put the phone back here. I'm going to slightly use two fingers to hold down the frame, use my other hand to, oh, to click and press the read button. And it still doesn't read it. So sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Um, which is something you don't really want. You don't want to be um, messing around with the fake BDM frame, hoping it works, hoping it doesn't work. Uh, that's just a waste of time. Um, I just do that to show you why it's such a waste of time. So I'm going to higher it a bit. Move the frame. Oh, I can move, move that one there. Move the frame like a tiny tiny bit and this seems to be the best thing I could do without holding it so let me, it all looks fine to me, but um, sometimes it, that happens. So what we'll do this time is turn off the power supply, turn it back on, click read. And no communication. So me this means that one of your pins isn't correcting right, connecting right. So you can hold it a little bit more if you feel like it. Um just keep in mind that you have to hold two sides. Um well basically 
somewhere there and press the read button again and the only thing you can do is hope really hope that you are connected right uh, most of the time um, I will tell you this is absolutely a bitch to do um, because you might think that all the pins are correct, connected in the right way, um, but they might not be. And that's what happens if you um, try to get this working. That's why it's so important to um, get the correct BDM frame. Because if you don't, yesterday I had to press like on um, well one of this those sites here only a one to be able to read it was yesterday night um, sometimes you have to press on the right side uh, to get it like get it all connected up um, but it's yeah it's not something you really want to do all day to try and uh, get this all working up uh, so in this in this sense I would absolutely not advise you to buy a cheap frame um, because well they absolutely suck they absolutely suck um, and it takes it takes takes more time to get all the pins aligned up and get it working instead of just getting uh, the original frame um, I'm going to like very very soon because I got this yesterday to see if it was any good um, and most of the time it's absolutely horrible it doesn't work it doesn't connect it doesn't do the right things um, and this is not how you want to spend your time um, trying to get those uh, little things working um, with the right frames and everything just just invest those 300 400 pounds and get the uh, original frame because this takes like so long to get it all sorted um, which is waste of time for you and your customers so don't spend your time on getting cheap china stuff um, even though it ships from, sometimes ships from the uk it's just a waste of time and um, most likely you will be ending up um, spending those uh, 400 pounds on a new frame no matter what. Um, so I would say don't waste your money and just get it straight away. Um, you've been spending 10 minutes getting this frame working and it's absolutely rubbish um, it just doesn't do what it should do um, it like I says it worked yesterday when I when I touched it slightly in the right correct way um, but today it doesn't and don't get don't get me wrong it's not nothing to do with the ECU or whatever it's just a frame that is just a bitch to get it right and working and everything um, and you don't want to hold your hand like this for five minutes either it's just a waste of time um, but that's um, that's my view of um, the um, the BDM frame and the cheap frames that you uh, get online um, like I said, it's an absolutely waste of money. Um, yes, they're only 20 quid, um, but I, would, I wouldn't get it anymore. It's, it's, such, hor it's such, a, such an horror to get it all working and get it all lined up and everything. And it's just not worth the time. Um, it broke after minutes straight away. Um, so yeah 
like I said, don't get this stuff. Don't absolutely don't. It's waste and it's a waste of money and time and just it wouldn't make any sense to uh, to get this. So this is my review about um, the cheap crappy BDM frames from for example eBay or Amazon.